And they call it a stairway to heaven. <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to Attack of the B Team with Kankadia. Well, I promised you I'd make a ski lift and I kind of did that. Uh, there really isn't, as far as I can tell, no way to make um, a, a really a, a lift, a, a vessel for transporting yourself from one place to another by a, a carriage of some kind. There might be a way in a new new Minecraft vanilla, I think they're doing something with a slime block to do that. But what I did is something more like a, a ski escalator. I took a whole bunch of conveyor belts and I took a whole bunch of uh, chiseled birch, birch planks. Hello. And some creepers. And I, I, I made this thing. I'll give you an aerial view here. I'm, I'm not quite done, but I finished the, the, the basis of it. I also made this little station up top uh, as a placeholder. I want to expand it a little bit over here for the second part of this build. So what I did, I went through this a couple of times, and I found this uh, design for the, the birch planks. Uh, it looks, looks like two uh, slabs on top of each other, but it's actually just one block run through a chisel. And I've got these uh, glass, these uh, uh, borderless glass panes from also from chisel. Very useful. Unfortunately, these guys can walk on top of them. Get off my escalator! I also had had to kill quite a few more creepers in order to resupply my, resupply my uh, gunpowder collection. But uh, you can see here, I basically just took uh, cobblestone for the for the first layer of it, <coughs> and I uh, m m made a staircase. Then I took the Birch planks, put them on the sides, and then put the conveyor belt. And you know, if you put, you know, if you put uh, conveyor belts down and then hit them with a, a um, precision sledgehammer, they will uh, they will incline. So that's what caused that. And I put the glass panes here, so I prevent myself from falling off as I go up. Um, yeah, I think this thing came up pretty well. I, I want to uh, work on uh, this area here a little more too, make it a little more presentable. But for the moment, this, this is what I have. But the next step I, I want to work on is going to be a, actually a ski jump. And that's going to be kind of weird. Well, first of all, because I'm in a snow biome, I'm actually in a frost forest, which means if I if I put a jump into water, the water is going to freeze, and I'm going to hit ice, and I'm going to die. So I'm thinking I should I should make a jump into slime. So I'm, I've I've got a little bit of slime blocks. If I if I don't, then I'll be able to make some some more. I'm not totally sure about what the uh, uh, shock absorption properties of, of slime is, but I should be able to rig something out of it. The tricky part, as far as I can tell, is going to be creating, and I, you know what, I'm going to experiment with one thing first, and then we'll see what happens. I honestly don't know what, what it's going to be like. So, see if you, these things are so weird. These are blizz from thermal expansion. Hey, little guy. And I, I, I believe it's because I made this uh, igloo version 1.0 out of out of snow blocks, and these things spawn on slow, snow blocks. They will periodically spawn around me, but they're kind of derping because I don't think I think they are confused as to where they're going. Oh, it's because it has a little snow layer on top of snow, so they don't know where I'm going. Not only really that useful, actually, I do occasionally drop blizz rods, which are used in something involved with the thermal expansion. Not sure exactly what, but they also drop lungs and things for some reason. So I guess necromancy applies to them as well. Okay, so here's what I got so far. Not very much. I have uh, I have a cobblestone here. I have to think to myself, well, what can I make this sort of scaffold out of? Well, okay, do I have cobblestone? And I'm like, <laughs> I had a, this a sudden desire to quote from uh, Dune and, and said, Whoso, we have worm signed the likes of which even God has never seen. I have a disturbing amount of cobblestone. I've been doing a lot of mining off camera to try and get uh, some supplies, and uh, the method I've been using is basically taking this uh, hammer from Tinker's Construct, which I've now repaired. It made of steel. I've repaired it now four times, and uh, I've gone into my mine over here at level 12, and I I basically have mined out at level 12 from let me see, goes up to here. And this is the line all the way over here using the hammer and I think I've gone from about here to maybe about here so I still have all this area at level 12 I haven't mined out but the rest of this I have so that's been quite a, quite an ordeal now I'm well aware I don't need to mine that much but there are a couple things that would be very useful for me for example I'm always trying to get more ferrous ore I want to try to get more tin lead so like that I always seem to run out of especially because I want to get into space as quick as I can and do some fun stuff in there 
So uh, what I did so far is I, I, I put a cobblestone ramp here. I've also got some carpenter's wedges. I want to try something I hope may work, but it might not. Let me see what happens when I put ice on these wedges. Now, I think these things may retain their property as blocks as opposed to actual slopes. So if I were to stand... Oh, okay, let me get back into normal mode, see what happens. Now, I shouldn't fall too badly if I do fall. Yeah, I'm gonna go first person mode, see what happens. Uh, oh, yeah, come on. So if I, if I move forward, yeah, you can see it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's retaining its property as a block as opposed to a wedge. So I cannot use what I was hoping to do is, is a ski jump using um, the carpenter slope because they are not actually slopes, they just look like slopes. Uh, they're, 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 same thing with collapsible blocks and that kind of thing. So that's not going to work. So I'm, my second plan, which was what I'm probably going to have to do, is I'm going to make a minecart jump. Now I, did, I mocked this up so I can kind of have an idea of where I want it to land. However, I don't really want the thing to go straight down necessarily. But I do want it to go maybe to about uh, maybe this point or something, and then have it go out and then have it drop into something. The tricky part is going to be getting it to, to drop in the right place. I do, however, have a lot of gold. I have a lot of iron, so I can make it a track. I'm not really worried about that. So let's let's start off with here, and we'll use that as, as a reference point. So I'm going to put some minecart tracks on this thing, and we'll see how far it goes. Be right back. <laughs> And I'm back, and I'm I got my little have a little bit of a zombie fan club here. There, there, there. You, you see my first test of this little ski jump here, and I'm it's gonna be a little odd because uh, I'm not I'm not that good with with um, powered rails or tracks of any kind, and uh, I'm trying my best to get this to work decently. The thing that's confusing me is the. It doesn't seem like these rails are actually powered. And I actually had, I, go, I went in and I, yeah, something is, see, okay, so these are clearly powered rails and they look normal. These, however, don't really look like they're powered. This one might be, it's hard to tell, but I can't really tell if this thing is actually functioning. So I'm going to do, the only thing I can do, and I'm going to do a test run. Just gonna wait for it to be uh, dawn so that these zombies burn up. Actually, let me go on top here, because as you know, you oh, a little bit of lag spike. As you know, you can't uh, enter a minecart in batch one. Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually? Uh, I don't think I can make that jump. Well, I'll find out very quickly. Nope. Yay! Made it. Okay, cool. So now this thing is on, so it should go. Like immediately. Actually, no, I'm going to do this instead. No, 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 no. Okay, perfect. One block. So I'm going to move forward. No, 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 no. Okay, that didn't work. That did not work. Mistakes were made. Where's that? Where's that? There's a baby zombie here who's trying to kill me and who is not going to. There he is. Hello. He's going to kill me. No, no, no. Little baby. It's a tiny thing. Ah! Uh. Mm. Bat right back. Hmm. Okay, now I think it may have been because it was nighttime that I couldn't see the particles quite well enough. There we go. I really wish they would make it. You know, Grave box a little more understandable because I've heard some people say you have to use a pickaxe. Some say you don't. Why do I have tea leaves? Um, I, I am. I've been added new at some point, but I'll deal with that in the future. Okay, so get the mine cart. Okay, so if you look at it here in the daytime, these do look like they are powered and they're powered quite a bit. So I'm happy about that. Excellent. So this 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 is going to be the first test. Drop this here. Oh no, I can't. Uh, I need one more. I get a rail. Drop that in there, and I might as well eat this right flesh because I'm gonna, probably gonna die very soon. I don't have um, tracks all the way down, but there are a fair bit over there. So I want to see what happens when I do this. Oh, bad form. It, it might actually work. Apparently, I can sit in here, but I really don't want to 
chance at screwing up. So let's just move forward a little bit. Accelerating and... Okay. I guess that makes sense. So it, it, it made it as far as that. Let me grab... Oh. Let me grab that. And we'll try this again. Alrighty then. So it's occurring to me now that this is probably quite a bit of overkill what I'm doing here. So, I, so what I have is, uh, judging by uh, how many torches I put down, uh, approximately uh, 60 uh, powered rails. I put powered rails um, about three quarters of the way down there. Now at the end of, the, of, the, of that, uh, of that um, powered rail section, which is the majority of it, I have a one block, uh, a one block gap that is just a, a regular gap. And I want to see if... Ah, I want to see if a one block gap will provide me with enough, if I can get enough acceleration from all of this to beat a one block gap. Let's see what happens. Okay, and... Yeah, we definitely hit maximum velocity. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool. So it did... Okay, so I am here. I'm here, so I, let me mark this somehow. Okay, uh, gotta be very careful. There, there. And uh, if I can get this without falling, nope. Oh, didn't say didn't turn into empty. Interesting. Okay, so I stopped here and I ended up here. So I basically hit this point. So I could take out this these two blocks and it would continue. So that is a one, two. And hit three, so all the acceleration was enough to make it go two blocks. So now I'm kind of curious what happens if it goes farther than this. So I'll be right back. All right, I've got a gap down there of three blocks, and there's actually some power rails on the other side of it. So if I make the jump successfully, I should continue accelerating after I clear the gap. So let's see what happens this time. I'm approaching the gap. Awesome! <laughs> oh, that was really cool. I, I didn't go. Oh, it fell again. Uh, I didn't go very far, but I did actually continue accelerating after this much of a gap. I like that. I think that has a lot of possibilities if I ever decide to make like a roller coaster or something. But that was cool. I mean, some people who are you know familiar with tracks will not find that cool at all. But I'm like, that is pretty cool. I just jumped a minecart. However, this is not part of the experiment. The experiment is to get, is to get into, an, into a safe area. Hmm. But how do I do this? I really don't know enough about the dynamics. I do know that it dry, it was able to get from here to here, which is was that one, two, three, and three. So three and three continuance. So if I use that as a basis, I'm sort of eyeballing it here. One, two. The thing is, it won't continue to go like this. It'll just go like that. Or, yeah. So basically, with, with with this kind of acceleration, which may not be maximum acceleration, it's possible I might get it faster if I do it off of a ramp. I'm only going to hit about three pieces. Hmm. Okay, so let, let's, let's try a bit more of a test, shall we? So I think this would be considered our first actual jump test. I know what happens. Accelerating, I'm pushing the switch, and okay, okay, there we are. And we landed on top of a couple other things, and we ended up, crap, um, hold on. I should have brought a block with me, but I was afraid to lose it when dying. Come on, come on, I just want to destroy this. There we go, so I hit here. And you can see I actually knocked over a couple of other minecarts in, in the process. But I took a little bit of damage. How the damage can, can be mitigated. The important part... Come on. There we go. The important part is here. I hit... Oh, wow. I hit here. This is my 
access point, and that is where I left off. So what I did was I, I made a jump, and I, I, hit, I, I transitioned to a regular piece of rail. Then I put I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power rails. I think it's either six or eight power rails that is the maximum acceleration you can get. So from this point, I went down. Let me check the Y here. So at this point, we have a, a Y of 97, and I went down to 84. So that is 13 down, and sorry, the X coordinate would be, what is that, uh, 65 or uh, 64. from uh, 68 so it went 4 and 13 hmm. kind of a steep drop okay so 3 over 3 to 4 over 13 hmm. okay so it, it pretty much is uh, it, it confirms what I thought we're not really getting a lot of a of, uh, uh, diagonal uh, deceleration like, like down this way it really is going a little bit and then sinking which is why we only got we got three here I mean, we essentially got four here it's slightly longer because of the angle I was moving at when I, when I exited so for example if I wanted to put the splashdown point here which is actually a little bit um, eh, maybe I was actually wanting to be a little more here make it a little more parallel so I can I can extend it a little bit farther. No, actually, that this works pretty well the way it is. Hmm. Okay, I think I think this is pretty much what we're looking for. The next problem because I did, did take uh, four hearts of damage from that, and I was I was not wearing, not wearing any armor or anything, so that was four pure damage. So I'm curious what happens if I land not on top of cobblestone, which is pretty hard, but I land on top of of uh, slime blocks. But ne first, next thing I want to do uh, before I do that is I want to do a test of what happens when I hit ground level. I, I only I only fell 13 blocks in a minecart that way. I want to see what happens if I hit fall farther. This might actually kill me. I have six hearts remaining. Let's find out. No? Okay, so it dealt me uh, three? No, I had six and I have three and a half remaining. That's two and a half hearts. Wait a minute, where did I land? What? How? Oh, I hit this lip. Crap. Okay, back up to full health. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Okay, so I hit the ground. Nine hearts of damage. And I hit... Where's my thing? Yep! Uh, exactly. Okay, so this is that one up there. So I went exactly one farther uh, over that height. So I think we pretty much figured out the physics involved here. Now and all we have to do is make, make it... Get up there. All I have to do is make, make it... A little more nice, presentable, and practical, and above all, safe. But I am, I'm, I'm glad that even from that height, it didn't kill me. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get some, get some slime together, make a slime pad, because I'm definitely out of time for this episode. So this has been Can Kibia for Attack of the B Team, and I'll see you later. So I, ah, oh, bloody hell!